Here is a list of names, and now I'll write a for loop to create a list with the lengths of each name. So this name should give a 7 because it has 7 letters, this should give a 4, this should give a 4, etc. This should give a 7, and so should this. So we start with an empty list, and then we go over each name in the list, and then we take the lengths and we append the length of the name. Right, and we can print the lengths when we are done. Now let's run this. So these are the lengths. If we want to do this as a list comprehension, it's very simple. You can you can figure out, you can try to understand the, the, mecha the mechanical thing or the mechanical transformation that we are doing here, because it's always the same thing. You start with the, the step that initializes the list and you paste it. Now you take the for loop up until the colon, you copy it, and you paste it. And now you take what's inside the append call, so this is the call to append, you take what's inside, you copy it, and you paste it on the left of the for loop. Now we can print the lengths again, and we will see it's the exact same result. So it's the same thing. Notice how this was a mechanical transformation. I took the initialization, and then inside the list, actually, I can show it again in a different way. So, instead of copying and pasting, I can actually drag things around. So I can select this, drag it over there, and now I can take what's inside the append and drag it over there, and now insert a space for readability, and delete the things that no longer matter. Now we can run this and we can see that the result remains the same. And now this works for arbitrary levels of depth. So let's undo a couple of things. Now imagine that instead of having a list of names, I have a list of lists of names. So that's one, that's two. So now I have a list with four names and another list with three names, and those are inside the list. So now I don't want, or now this is not how the for loop should look like. First, I need to take the sublist, so for sublist in names, and then for name in sublist, we append the length of the name. So the result remains the same. So now, how do we transform this into a list comprehension? Well, the mechanic is still the same. We start with the outer for loop, and now as we go along the depth of the for loops, we paste them on the right. Oops, that slipped my finger, sorry. So we put it over there, and now the thing inside the append goes to the far left of the list comprehension. Now we delete the stuff that doesn't matter, and we see that the result is still the same. So again, notice how going from this nested for loop structure is a very, it's a very mechanical transformation to go from that to this, to the list comprehension. And if you get acquainted with this mechanical transformation, you'll find it easier to read list comprehensions. Now, I'm not saying that list comprehensions with two for loops or even more are a good idea. I'm just saying that you need to understand how to go from one to the other.